Hello Bears fans, how's everyone doing? Bears fans, that was an awesome game on Sunday and also Jay Cutler returned from his concussion. I'm so glad the Bears bounced back with this victory because what happened last Monday against the Niners, that was a very very disgusting game if you're a huge Bears fan like myself. I give you credit, Niners fans, like I did in the previous video. But we lost a lot of key players. Hester went down. Pilmatima went down. Who else? Mafute. Total guys with five. Unbelievable. Hopefully, they'll be ready this Sunday against Seattle at home in Chicago. So I'm very pumped up. Bears won. They eight and three, and also the New York Giants beat the Green Bay Packers. So once again, thank you very much, New York Giants, to beat our division rival, the Cheeseheads, Green Bay. Thank you once again. So I want to show you this in today's paper. Look at that. I don't know if you can see it very clearly. The headliner. Hopefully, there's no glare from the from my window from the sun. Okay. Okay. Now check this out, ladies and gentlemen, and boys and girls. Okay. Everyone did their part, okay? But I'll get to that in a few minutes. I'm very happy to kick the ass and take names. <coughs> Excuse me, I'm trying to get over my cold and cough. Okay, so right here. Fute among several bearers injured, but color shine in return to a lead with the 28 to 10 throbbing of the Vikings. They, like, did they destroy them? Actually, the Vikings had a chance to um, get motivation in that game. I thought that one fumble was going to be a return, but they reversed it, thank God. And another call, it's like the same um, call we happened on Thanksgiving against the Houston versus Detroit, but with a bad call and uh, Houston and a scratch at. It was a bad call. I mean, yeah, it was a bad call, but they got a touch out of it. I, I can't really explain it, but you guys know what I'm saying. Okay, there's only five games left for the Bears. This Sunday against Seattle at noon in Chicago. These two teams have a lot of history. They've been in the playoffs in the past. Uh, we lost them, I think, last season in Seattle. And then we play, we faced them, um, or actually, a few years ago, we lost them in Seattle. Then we had revenge in Chicago in a playoff game. So these two teams know each other very, very well. Then in the following week, we have played the Vikings in Minnesota, December 9th. So it's going to be a very, very physical game, like what happened on Sunday. That's a lot of guys got hurt and banged up. Sorry about that. Very cool. And there's the other side. I'm not too sure if I showed this earlier in this video. Very cool. I think the Bears played very well. You know, I, I hate the Vikings. Actually, I hate everyone in our division. You know, the Packers, the Vikings, and um, Detroit, you know. But I give you guys credit. It's going to come down to the wire. I think it's going to come down to Week 17, Bears and Packers. I Hopefully not, but you never know. I don't know if the Vikings are going to make some noise. I think Detroit is definitely done. Okay, there it is. Very cool. Hope you can see that very clearly. Now I'm going to discuss about the grades for the Bears. I can't do it last Tuesday because it was a late game on Monday night. You know what I'm saying? The results and all this stuff. They, they discussed about the um, who won, but not the grades. Okay? So here goes. Brush yourself, Bears fans. Okay, quarterback is B. Plus. Offense line is B. Plus. Defense backs is A, running back is C, 
um, defense line A minus, special teams B, receivers B plus, linebacker B, coach coaching B plus. Okay, let's let's discuss about the quarterback. Okay, Jay Cutler had 23 for 31 for 188 yards with one touchdown and one interception and his average is his rating is 86.5 that's not too shabby from return and I forgot to mention that Hester had a concussion also so he never returned the game so that sucks but we really didn't need him because we won the game anyway okay and the cool part is I forgot to mention this special teams the Vikings never thought Bears was gonna fake the um, uh, extra point and got the touch on. I was very surprised, especially early in the game. So very glad the Bears actually went for special teams for extra uh, two point conversion. So early in the game, usually Bears never ever um, is a risk taker. They should do that once in a blue moon. If the Packers do that against us in week two, well, we can't do that. You know what I'm saying? And that'd be great if the Bears do the same thing against the Packers very, very um, soon at the end of the season and get the uh, Packers the, 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 toast, the taste of their own medicine. You know, with that fake field goal. Okay, backwards I was saying, the fake, um, the fake um, uh, field goal um, give the Bears an 18-3 lead. That's so awesome. Okay, the first quarter it was ten to three. And the second quarter is twenty five to three. They destroyed them. And the second quarter is twenty to ten. And the f fourth quarter is the same score. So that's awesome. Did you notice that Kevin? Um, uh, I don't know what's his damn name. Fourth quarter, fourth and two, passed the uh, white right to the end zone to. Vikings best scoring chance. Yeah, I remember that play. That's awesome. Did you notice the Bears have given a break when a replay reviewed overturn for Raymond, a 51 yard fumble return for a touchdown? Yeah, I remember that too. <coughs> Sorry about that. I'm trying to go over my freaking cold and cough. So they did a pretty damn good job. Lance Bridge, uh, yeah, Lance Bridge bring down. Adrian Peterson for a one yard, several, seven tackles. Peterson carried for 18 times for 108 yards with only, with a, with a long run for 23. That's good for the Bears, bad for the Vikings. So, see, these are the guys are hurt. Okay, Matt Forte, Tillman, Hester, and Spillman. Lewis hurt in win. So the total is five guys on the Bears injury list. So I hopefully they'll be ready for week thirteen against Seattle. So it's gonna come down to the wire who's gonna win the division, Bears or the Packers. I don't think the Vikings are gonna win it and no chance in hell um Lions are gonna win. Sorry Lions fans, because you lost to a very, very tough game against Houston on Thanksgiving in overtime. Houston is a very tough team. They got the best record in the NFL, 10 and 1. So that's it for me. This is my recap. I'm very glad they won. Hopefully they keep it up, take names, and they got five games left. What I said. So they got one more game against Minnesota, one more game against uh, Green Bay, and one more game against uh, Detroit. We beat Detroit already. We beat Vikings already. We have to beat Green Bay. We lost them earlier in the season. And that's about it. Have a good one. And go Bears. And one more thing. I know it had nothing to do with the NFL or Bears. I want to show you this really quickie. Real quickie. Just hold on. I know it has nothing to do with the NFL and the Bears, 
But look at Notre Dame uh, going to a BCS championship game for the first time since 88. That, that when I was 11 years old. Go Irish! I'm a huge Irish fan. And also, check out my video footage on my YouTube wall. You know, YouTube channel. Have a good one. I'm out here. Go Bears! Yeah! Later, Gators! And good luck to your teams on week 13 and 10 night. Later. Bye-bye!